Hi, I'm Saloni from the FBAI and I'm here with my dearest Ananya who's going to teach me something really nice in the Bengali cuisine. Hi, I'm Ananya and I'm really glad Saloni you're here today. Okay. I'm going to show you Jhine Posto. So I start with my Jhine Posto and mustard oil goes first. Mustard oil is so quintessential to Bengali food. Very strong aroma but people love it. So when you're using mustard oil, always make sure that you heat it up really well, almost to a smoking point, so that that particular smell doesn't come into your food. Let this heat up. I will talk about the posto. What is posto? Posto is khaskas or poppy seeds. This is how it looks. I have soaked posto for 10 minutes in warm water and then made a paste out of it. So this is the poppy seed paste, posto paste. While the oil is heating up, next goes is kalonji or nigella seeds. Two green chili plate or just broken. Chopped onion goes. You don't have to really brown the onion. This is good enough. Then comes the potatoes or aloo. Now you might say that uh, if it's jhine posto, it should be only with jhine. Every vegetable we make, aloo is only present. It can be aloo posto, it can be jhine posto, it can be parwal posto or bebun posto that is with eggplant. But aloo is not. comes the hero of the dish that is jhine or ture. I have made them into big chunks. If you notice the aloo, I have cut them into smaller bits and this is like slightly larger. The cutting of the vegetable will always depend on the cooking time it takes. So this size aloo, the time it will take and this size jhine will take the same time. So that goes. Cover the dish and let it cook for 2 to 3 minutes so it's slightly done. Then the next process will start. So this has been cooking for 3 minutes. Let me open the cover and see. Perfect. Turai as a vegetable, it has it releases a lot of water. It has a very high water content. So just let me check if the alu is cooked. If alu is cooked, then I know. Yeah, that's all very cool. Now comes the posto. It's casca paste. Posto, by the way, is a great sleep inducer. So if you have it in the afternoon, you'll get a good sleep. After the posto, little turmeric powder, some green chilies chopped, salt to taste, and a pinch of sugar to balance out the taste. This is also about Bengali cooking. We add a little bit of sugar in our food. It's completely optional. If you don't want to do it, just don't do it. Let the posto or the cuscus cook well. Come to a roaring boil. It's two to three minutes. So it's all incorporated in the gravy. And our jine posto will be done. So this looks done to me. One final, final flourish is the mustard oil again. A drizzle of that to finish the dish. This is also very Bengali. Uh, if you find the mustard oil very strong, don't do it. But we like to drizzle some mustard oil kacha on top of our dishes to give that typical taste. And we are done with jhine posto.
Ananya. Ananya. I thought Jinghe was prawns. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people think Jinghe is Jinga. Yeah. That is prawns. But sorry, we call Ture Jinghe in Bengali. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. No worries. I shall enjoy the Ture. No. If you guys want a prawn dish from her on this channel, leave a comment because. Ananya will cook up a storm. Please do let me know. I'll do a prawn dish for you. Saloni will be happy and you'll be happy. I'll be happy. <laughs>